Pointers. Anyone who tells you that they're very hard has scale issues. We're going to walk through why. What you need to remember here is that pointers are actually just a value that tells you the address of another value. Consider int x equals 5. In this simple statement, what we're going to start with here is that we have some variable x and it's going to have some address in memory. We're going to just make one up, okay? It's not a huge deal. But what we're going to show throughout this section is think of pointers as just addresses to data and you're going to be all right. We start with our first one, x. We give it some long, big address, which is similar to the thing you'll see printed out when you print out pointers in these lessons. And then we give it a value, like 5. Now, when we create another value, like y, and we say that is equal to x, what we're actually doing is copying the data of what was ever at x and putting that into y. Remember, this is a copy. So if we do something like update the value of x, what's going to happen to the value of y? Nothing. Okay. Instead, what we'll have is only x will get updated. Now, here's where we're going to start introducing pointers. We introduce this by saying int star and then a name. So this is saying the type of this is a pointer to integers, and we're going to point it to the address of x. We do that with a fancy ampersand. So what we have though is this pointer, and it's at some other address in memory, but its value is actually that original address of x that we're talking about. So you should just think in your brain, what we're doing is I'm setting that value to here. We've copied the value of the address. This is like, if I give you my address is one, two, three, four Sesame Street, we're gonna copy that in. Now, when we do something like dereference that pointer, which is saying, hey, I'd like to get the value out of that pointer, and we set it into Z, we create a new name at a new address, and we set that to a new value. Once again, very important, this is a copy operation. Okay, this means that we cannot just say that these things are going to be in sync forever, but instead that it is a copy. Just the same as when we copied the value from x into y. However, now what's going to happen is if we say, hey, let's change what's in the memory location that the pointer points to. Well, we go back to our table and we refer there and we say, aha, I need to update my value of x. So what we have is still just copying values into new locations in memory. It's just that sometimes the value itself is an address.